I decided to move the worms that I have in here directly into the garden using worm towers. I have huge planters out there that I'm using to plant trees and different type of foods. And the way I'm going to do that is by creating worm towers. I bought these PVC pipes from Home Depot. They're two feet in length and three inches in diameter. So what I did with this is I measure the halfway point, cut that, that way it will give me two pieces, one foot each. Then once I cut them in, in half, the bottom half, I put holes in it all the way through because I'm gonna sink this into the planter and all those holes are gonna be below ground. I'm, on the top, I'm gonna put food and water and the worms will be able to go in and out to get the food and then just travel around the, the planter, which is a lot bigger than this. And I also got this lid, which fits on top. And separately, I bought this screw on cap. That way, once I put the food and water in there, uh, it keeps them safe from predators. There's a lot of lizards out there. They're not gonna go in there and eat the worms. And also it's gonna keep it dark. So the, the purpose is, is for what's going on in here, the creating worm castings to happen directly in the garden without having to go through this and harvesting the castings and the liquid. Some people call it warm tea, or some people say it's lychee, and then you brew it and turn it into warm tea. But anyway, I'm not liking what's going on in here. These are two totes that I bought in Walmart. The top part, I cut out the bottom and I replaced it with chicken wire. And then the, the bottom part, the bottom one, is where everything, all the castings are gonna fall to. So in here I have about 2,000 worms and there's bedding and I've been putting food and a few days ago I harvested the very first uh, castings and liquid that were in there and that is this. Um, this thing is very wet. It doesn't look like it's the same thing that other people are showing throughout the internet as the worm castings. Theirs look like dirt. This is very wet. So this, I, all the liquid that was in here, I poured it in here because I didn't know what to do with it. And until I figured it out, I put it in here and it was about an inch of liquid. I left it in this garage overnight. The next morning I came to look at it and most of the liquid was gone. Uh, I don't know how it happened. As far as I know, there's no animal in this garage that would have drank that liquid. But I came back the second day and this thing was completely empty. I, I, I cannot explain it. It didn't drain out. It wasn't on the floor. I, I have no idea what happened to the liquid that was in here. So anyway, now the process is gonna happen out into, in the garden. Here I have the worms that are going in there. I just got them out of the bin. I've already put bedding and I've already put the kitchen scraps. The only thing that is missing is the worms. So again, this thing, all the holes are underneath the soil and there's about two inches of grass which are serving as mulch. These are the potato, um, <laughs> these are the tomatoes that I'm having a hard time getting them to come back to life because I'm not going to use any kind of chemicals. Everything has to be organic. So that's why I'm um, resorting to the worms to fertilize the ground. So I'm going to put the food in there. Well, the food is already in there. I'm going to put the worms. They're going to eat the food and hopefully they're going to travel around the container, uh, leaving their castings and fertilizing the ground. So let me go ahead and put them in. I'm going to close the lid. This is going to provide darkness because the worm like the worms like the dark. 
It's also going to protect them from predators. There's a lot of lizards out here. I'm hoping that the cats don't sense the food and come in here and start digging for it. I'm going to be paying attention to that at night. Uh, that's the window. You can't see it, but that's where I sleep, the window. Uh, so that's everything that I'm doing for the worm farm. I'm hoping I did the same thing. I don't know if you can see back there. There's a guava tree where I already did this starting yesterday. Worms have been in there for roughly 24 hours. They got the food, the water, and hopefully they get used to their new home. Now here, so uh, the tomatoes can come back to life. And if that starts to happen, I'm gonna bring other tomatoes that I'm growing in the garage and I'm gonna put them here. And then I'm gonna spread this system to the other planter that I have. This is a hawthornberry tree, sweet potatoes, celery, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. I got beans over there, yam, star fruit, papaya tree. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing to all of those if this works. So I'll let you know how, how it goes. I uh, think this is a good uh, idea to try out. So thank you for watching this series as I turn my backyard into a food forest.